So, Lego Minecraft. Look at the pandas. Look at the look at the little faces. So cute. Yeah, hi, my name is Heather. Hi, I'm Amanda here. Hi, my name is Stedman. So, thank you for doing this thing with me today. I was involved with Lego developing the thing called Lego Serious Play, which is a thing where adults build metaphorical stuff out of Lego to represent their ideas or experiences, which sounds weird. Everybody gets to make something. It's kind of fun and playful. Everybody has a voice because everybody makes something and puts it there. And then you've got this actual 3D thing that you can look at and change. For one thing, you all need to be in a room with some Lego. I thought, what if I get three brilliant people and then just send you in the actual post? I thought this set looked very cute. <laughs> so let's open the boxes. Anybody got any questions? There's no correct way. And so, of course, you can just treat this like a box of bits and make whatever you want right from the start. But also it'd be a big shame not to make the cute pandas. And then I'll invite you to change it, adapt it, do whatever you want with it to express some things. Lego and whiteness. Lego have this thing where um, Lego minifigs, the standard Lego minifig is yellow. And I learned at Lego, the actual place, <laughs> when I went there, uh, I learned from them that the, their idea was to have a colour that is not a colour that is anybody anyway, because nobody's quite yellow. So you could imagine that it was anybody in the world, which sort of works. But also I think most people read it as white. And mm. so, and they've got a lot more white characters than anything else. And in this set, we've got Alex from Minecraft, who's, yeah, she's a white person by the looks of things. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I'm acknowledging it. I've made a person. Yeah. That's Alex. Yeah. Oh, oh. Alex at least is gender neutral. You can't tell if Alex is male or female. Yeah, it's like a diamond pickaxe. If I'm. That is a diamond mistaken. pickaxe. You do know about Minecraft. Oh, the ocelot is quite cute. Yeah. But now I think. Mm. Well, seems quite good fun. Oh, there's a panda. Nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, cool. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Play with it. It's a new toy. Ah, oh, he doesn't like it. Double-headed oh. panda uh, sort of structure going on here. How do you guys feel about following the rules? in terms of like your creative process. I think rules are important, but I think every rule is meant to be bent. Like techniques or like ways people do things. Like there was like a reason that was done and it's good to understand that. And then and then if you want to deviate from that, then go, go for it, go hard, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I always like in terms of life and creativity, I, I always had the mindset that rules are always meant to be bent. Oh yeah, that's it. There is no the, the beauty with music and art and stuff though is that there is no right or wrong. There's the fun part of creating. You can think as hard as you want, or you don't have to think too hard. You can, you can play around. You can be serious about it. But ultimately, it's it's like a playground. Hmm. Like this Lego. I got this for Heather built it according to the instructions, and is now making adaptations. Stebman built his own version, which is good. Amanda, where are you at? I am finishing up my last panda. Oh, right, cool. Everybody everybody, show us what you've done. Because there was a beautiful Lego Minecraft panda set, which was so cute that we all wanted to make it. Stedman, tell us a little bit about yours. Can you point out some of its features? Because you've done your own interpretation. <laughs> yeah, so... It's kind of it kind of looks like a like a video game boss battle, you know. And then you have this double headed panda hybrid that's like has these like cyber pieces on top of it, and it looks like it's about to like shoot out something towards the little Minecraft dude. I feel like in some fields of creativity, like competition makes people thrive and be at their best. So, um, we've we've all kind of built the thing. But uh, now I want you to do whatever you want, to change it however you want. Can you make it 
so it <laughs> it's a funny starting point to start with this panda set. Uh, but if you were trying to represent you and your creativity or something about you and your creativity, can you do that using the materials available? It's inevitably going to be some adaptation of what you've already got. Uh, what, what was the prompt again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, in some ways, it's harder because you've already got this. And it's like, well, how can I change this to represent something that meaningful to me? I mean, change it as much as you like. I was saying, can you represent you and your creativity or you being creative? Or use what's here to tell a story about you being creative. I was able to attach some meanings to basically what was already here. Um, by God, cute little panda is me. This is me trying to uh, get to up here. The, the ocelot is up high and is like, this is like the kind of music I'd like to make. And that's up and away and hard to get to. <laughs> uh, standing in the way is... Uh, Alex is guarding it with a sort and sort of holding back. What kind of resistance is that? Uh, it's sort of self doubt. I think it's like the, it's the voice of, Oh, you can't do this. And it's ridiculous. And why are you trying to do this? And you're not very good. And that kind of thing. That's the message from there. And meanwhile, <laughs> the, the more chonky panda sitting down, snacking on his uh, bamboo is kind of a critic also saying, Oh, why are you doing this? It's not that good. Uh, Meanwhile, there should be some optimism, shouldn't there? I mean, it is possible for the little panda to make their way uh, through this through this part and, and get up there. It is possible, uh, but it's beset by doubt and potential critics. But possible. Um, okay, so Alex is me, and uh, it's on... The structure is on water, so it's not... Uh, doesn't have a strong foundation, so a lot of it is very vulnerable, and um, as a result, same thing, like self-doubt and all of the insecurities, but built on top of this insecurity is still uh, experience and uh, some sort of foundation, you know, like what we're talking about with, like, learning basics and things, so that I can get to a place of whatever I create up top here. Um, and of course, we can't do things alone, even though it's so easy to think that. So I've brought the ocelot, uh, ocelot? Ocelot, yep. Ocelot <laughs> uh, with me uh, to represent, oh, or to represent others. Um, and then I brought in this, uh, the bamboo tree, and I've shifted the, the uh, Lego pieces so that it's unstable and uh, added the light, kind of like the creative light bulb. So that's still up and around the space with nice. uh, other obstacle structures. Whoa, uh-huh, really good. Cause you got, um, you know, it's not a matter of good model, bad model or whatever, but you've got a lot of meanings into that in a short amount of time as well. You only spend like three minutes creating that from the parts you already had. Uh, and it's got a lot of different aspects of your, journey and things you think you do need and things you think you do have but things that are challenges as well all in there very good cool stepman what did you do yeah. so i actually joined the ocelot and the two the two-headed pandas together with the minecraft dude to represent collaboration and cohesion and working together uh so now they're all working together to improve this landscape here make it a better place for everyone and stuff. So I guess it represents working together and being on the same page. Yeah, really nice. Heather, what did you do? I don't know. Um, so I made, when I thought of creativity and how I view it, I see it as like an expansion of myself. So <laughs> this little head, here, yeah, maybe I'll bring it closer. And I, like just the kind of creative work I do, it's usually to help others right now, like uh, in getting their visions across with my own vision combined. So I kind of have like a symbiotic relationship going here. You know, I'm I'm a big bamboo tree with random stuff coming out because I, I do have a lot of like um, talent in a lot of different areas. So I, I, I'm trying to expand and see what I could do with that. And then the panda's feeding on that bamboo because I to kind of represent that relationship I have with people and working together with them with what I know and what they know and it creates a fun, messy, chaotic, but beautiful environment. 
Amazing. Yeah. Really good. Cool. So yeah. all three of you did really interesting things in that very short amount of time. So that's really good. One thing we could do is what would you like to change? If so, if you look at it and you think that this is about representing you and, and your creativity, what things would you like to change so that things are better for the future? And can you actually like build those changes? Can you do things that add, I don't want to tell you what to do, but things that maybe add supports or things that would support you on your journey? Uh, what would they look like? So when I said the thing about making some changes or what supports would you need, I didn't necessarily know what I was going to do. But then it became actually quite obvious um, because I had I had the self-doubt and fear, which was Alex holding a sword, sword thing, um, which was standing in the way of even being able to go up. So obviously that had to move aside because then you could do the thing that I always say is the best ever advice, which is feel the fear and do it anyway. So... I, you know those self-doubts are there. I haven't got rid of the self-doubts and all that, but it's okay. They're part of the landscape. We can still move on anyway. Uh, and then the panda that was eating the bamboo, who was uh, a critic before just sitting there chomping his bamboo and, and being critical, has come forward to help and his hand is, is, is nourishing the little one to go up and is, is being supportive and nice. So it's a collaborator instead of a critic. So, hooray. Uh, so that makes it much better. And it's much more pleasing to look at that scene happening. So then the little guy can go up there with the help of this one. I'm actually quite pleased with that. <laughs> Here's Amanda. Um, so I build a platform higher so with supports. I no longer would feel that insecurity. Um, but the ocelot now is the thing that is representing like the shark underneath in the water, the thing that is scary, but it's under. And on top is now the pandas that are supporting me, uh, cheering me on. And I've changed Alex's head to now the torch so that when I have the uh, supports and a stronger foundation, I ideally would feel, I would imagine, more confident and be able to keep on going and have bright ideas. Nice. Well, that's really good. Uh, Stepman. I built this sort of like tree antenna thing to leave behind for to keep things going in the community. It's filled with like nutrients and energy and stuff that everyone in the community can pro can benefit from. So, yeah, leaving something behind. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. I like it. And Heather's still busy. Because, yeah, right now, it was, like, me. I was, like, I know that, like, I've, I've worked really hard to get where I am and, uh, like, to establish my talents, especially in sound design. Um, but it's just a matter of proving it to people without a portfolio. And um, I'm hoping that eventually I can get to a place where I don't have to prove myself anymore and people can trust in my work and we could create really good things together. So then I have the pandas who are also up here with me, like, doing things and... Um, still establishing grounds and making good things together. Yeah. Wonderful. That's very nice. So um, the starting point for what we did then today was this particular panda set, which is a particular set of constraints because you've got certain colors, certain things, some pandas. <laughs> uh, it's not the infinite array of whatever you could possibly imagine in your world. Um, but still, and we spent a lot of time doing the building the pandas bit and didn't have so much time for the next bit. But in the bit where we're actually modeling things to represent ourselves and our creativity and, and what we would need to be supported, well, then you quickly did all kinds of interesting things and put in interesting points about collaboration, what kind of supports you need, the anxieties we face, challenges, and coming up with nice ideas like with Stedman's thing with the nutrients and um, with everybody's got some kind of growth in it, I think, which is very nice. So that was good. <laughs> For me, I, I think it's, um, it's nice to be reminded that self doubt and all of those things are also feelings that other people feel. Um, yeah. I don't think that, I think typically what we see is like the final product and, like, oh, great, like I made this beautiful thing. Uh, but I, I don't, I rarely get to see the struggle that people have in making. And so it's nice to not only make in a group, 
Um, but it's also nice to be reminded that, yeah, like other people also struggle too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lovely point. I think like what I've learned today is just uh, being spontaneous and building as you go along. Like with the Lego, I know I had going into today, I had no idea how I'd be able to make something that made sense with the Lego. But go as, as I was going along, I was like, wow, yeah, this does represent this. This does represent that. So I think it's the whole idea of just being sp spontaneous along with your process. Hmm. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Oh, it's like it's, a, it's basically the same thing. I think like this exercise and thinking about it while building is like reminding me that I need to trust in the process of how things go. Because like Amanda said, like and like Sedman said, it's like sometimes it's hard to get out of that like tunnel vision or get out of that hole of like what a, like is this even good? Like what where is this even going to go? But trusting in that process, like it just started out as a bunch of random blocks and they were able to create many things and. Um, it just takes a bit of time and effort and thinking, but it'll eventually get there. Hmm. Okay, beautiful. Uh, thank you for sharing this space together. It was really lovely to meet you all and to be with David. Great. This is really wonderful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So I really appreciate you doing it. Thank you. Thank you all once again. Thank you, everybody. This was, this was great. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.